Wherever I go, my sermon is with the great people of Rogoro. I welcome all of you here. Give him a clap as he takes over the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Nimefurahi sana kuona watu jana wakisema wanafikiria sana vile watasaidia watu ya Mombasa. Hata kama hajasaidia au kutoka 1963 hawajachelewa. Sababu Mombasa na watoto wao wako na shida. Ile tunaulizwa tu ni wasaidie na jia ya maana. Ile mashamba yote walichukua maumau waangalie hata kama ni nusu. Wape watu ya maumau na watoto yao ni kwemo. That's all we are asking. Hakuna shida. They are not late. Of course from 1963 they have never bothered. Now that they have come and they are saying they are concerned na watu, na watu ya maumau watusaidie. Because whenever you wachukua mashamba yote ya maumau Swara hizo zinakula huko, zinatembea huko, hakuna kazi inaendelea kwa hiyo mashamba. Maumau na watoto yao wanazikwa kwa public cemetery. Tunauliza hao tu kama wamepata hiyo roho Mungu amewaguza kuonea watu ya maumau na watoto yao huruma. Wa consider because hii mashamba ni kubwa sana. They actually don't need that. It's too much. If they can consider even half of that land they took from Maumau, watuite if they want my services i can organize them maumau tuongee hiyo maneno watukatie mashamba nusu tupatie hao title na hao waendelee na hiyo hii hiyo hii ni hakuna shida and any help for maumau is not late is welcome even after waiting for 60 years we are still waiting hiyo itakuwa saa saa we are meeting here in furtherance of the meeting we had with the stakeholders in Nyeri a week ago to bring our five county assemblies within the region to ask for their support because the concern that the president and all of us have is the same concern these leaders have and we are really discussing with them on how we can make uniform laws across the five counties to come up with very stringent rules and regulations to regulate the sale of alcohol the issues of drugs and you need to come up with very stringent penalties to act as a deterrent to this sector. We are concerned as the leaders from this region and for the whole country, really, that if we don't intervene, we can lose an entire generation. The situation in central Kenya and the rest of the country is worrisome. And we want to explain that why we have started here is because from the statistics from Nakada, this area is once hit at 14%. Once we succeed here, and we must succeed, we'll use the interventions here as a model for the rest of the country.